Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is John Marston. And we are here at our farm to be. We've got all the supplies ready. Just need to build a house and a barn and uh, a silo of sorts. Um, and it seems like Uncle has a quest for us. Let's see what his plan is. He's going to help at all. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and I'll you do, do the, the building. building. Right. How did I know <laughs> you try to weasel out of doing it? <laughs> now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. Hmm. I'm simply going to use what I've got, Your which is a brain. <laughs> Why you use what you've got, Muscles. which is less of a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, <laughs> unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but... Not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. We should get on with this. Let's do it. So is this like an Ikea house? Looks like it. So, so far... I'm quite loving the the epilogue. Oh, I need to do stuff. Jeez. <laughs> but the only thing kind of bugs me about it is that I don't, I'm not really mourning Arthur Morgan. Like he died and we kind of moved on right away. So, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer in a way. I don't know. It's like Arthur Dart. Okay, here's John. Let's move on. Show must go on. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna mourn Arthur for too long. Yeah, there we go. Because, you know, I was really invested in Arthur and in all the characters. So. I don't know. Well, we work so hard to build but I like this. House together. In the snow, or the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. We will see. Maybe, uh. No matter what the weather. <laughs> we're together. Maybe we'll get some closure. Because usually I'm not really a big fan of epilogues. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have minded if Arthur died and that would be it. The credits rolled. But it's kind of cool to have this to uh, as an introduction to Red Dead Redemption One, I guess. Lift, 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 lift. Here we go. It's also nice because I already know what the house is going to look like. It's cool to see it come together. It would be awesome to build your own house. I guess it's possible in America. Because as a European, Americans' houses are really... Uh, like cardboard boxes who can fall apart any time. Which is weird, because America has a lot more tornadoes and uh, hurricanes and stuff. <laughs> it's looking good. Oh, the 
Shingles. Hammered him. Okay. I don't think that's how you put shingles on a house. Just randomly placing one and hammering him down. I'll take it. Look at this go. An interactive montage. And we got a house. And I think that's everything. And a beard. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. Awesome. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Cheers. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> <laughs> My darling Abigail. I built your house. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, <laughs> and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Oh, Mr. yeah. Daddy's kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, yeah. we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. A few days later. Hi, John. Is you really gonna come back? Yeah, looks exactly as I remember. <laughs> Beautiful. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Where is he? In New Jerusalem. Here he is. Just one time I hope to find you work. <laughs> Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there. That I get to come back as a youngin, so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. <laughs> wow. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. <clears throat> The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Oh, yeah. A barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? <laughs> You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. Hmm. Lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Well, let's build a barn. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? <laughs> we need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. 
Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. An excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Great. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very <laughs> annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice <laughs> to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, fine, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Alrighty. The bounty should be this here somewhere. This guy up here. Looks quiet. Yeah. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You better. It's gonna be someone else. According to the yellow stuff on our map, he's in the barn. So let's oh, let's take some guns too. Okay, Sadie's gonna check the main house. I'm gonna check the barn. Uh, let's kick it in. We've come for you. Oh, hi. <laughs> It'll all be over soon. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Oh. Oh. oh, my fighting skills. You oh. got him? I think so. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Nice. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. That was a lot easier than I expected. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Wow. Well. Two hundred. Wow. Well. Three hundred. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. We got him. Cortez. Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, how much you want? How much <laughs> any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. Yeah. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Sure. Got a bad feeling about I this. Spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> so what's gonna happen? We just chillin' here in Rhodes. This guy's gonna try and free him. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. Yep. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas. Before we kill all of you fools, 
One! Don't be a dumb bastard! Two! This is a good town now! Three! Let them have it, boys! Such weapons. Ah, Sadie, you're right. Anyway. Oh, horsey, are you okay? <laughs> Not that horse, jeez. Right here, I want to left. And oh, this guy. Oh lord, what happened there? Who was it? Come out! What was that? I didn't jail. even see it. Are oh, they jail. broke? They blew my jail Jesus. apart. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah. Uh, well, we brought him in. <laughs> now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shocked today as well as Rob, mister? <laughs> Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A mm. hundred dollars. <laughs> Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Damn it. Alrighty. Let's see what we can see. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. They look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. Good luck. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. <laughs> okay. And shoot well. I'll try. Damn it, I hate shooting with a long range gun. Where to go? There we go. And also some. How did that not kill him? Damn it, I shot off his head. One. Is there more this way? Oh, here we are. We all went the same. I'm sure I'm four and I should kill this guy already. Where are you? Is there more? What's up? Oh, maybe here? Oh, here. Ah, that's his shoulder. Oh, wow. Get down here. <laughs> nice. Nice job. Damn it, now I don't have a decent gun. <laughs> I wanted this guy. Oh lord, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh. Ah. Oh lord. Damn it! Let's see. Oh, uh, you die. Where? Oh, this one's pretty. I oh, did say. <laughs> Stay with me. 
Where are we going? Yeah, I see him. Oh, he's dead. Jeez, Sadie, you're going quite quick. Look at my moves. Look at my moves. Got him. In the boats. There the beach. Oh. You gotta put that. I'm trying. Oh lord, this is a mistake. Capture him alive. <laughs> so you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. Oh. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> oh, hold your horses, chica. Got him. Get out of there. <laughs> I don't trust this. Sid. Get out of there! Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time ago. <laughs> Got him. Hey, look out! There's more of them coming. Hey, Jesus Christ! Shut your goddamn mouth! There's so many of them. <laughs> How many people does he have? Oh, I see you. I see you. Is there a guy here? Someone here. Are we done? We might just be. Son of a bitch. I know. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. <sighs> Seems Mexico's a tough place. Yeah. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. <laughs> oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. I mean to. No, oh, Mexico's really cool. They coming along, man? I Let's it. get out of here. Easy. It's about time we collected this bounty. I know. Second time lucky. What do you think, <laughs> Cortez? You got any more? The prizes up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. You are a dead man. But the lobos will not forgive this. Well, it looks we back again. Looks like we made it back. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. No problem. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. <laughs> this? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. And we're back home. Did someone build a barn for us? Looks like it. Let's go have a look at our newly built barn. Looks pretty good. Might need some paint. Yeah, seems alright. 
Oh, let's see what's up. Oh, okay. How was your Sorry. holiday? <laughs> I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. Yeah. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. <laughs> When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, pump it out and let our Look at us go. This is probably when Abigail turns up and she's like, Oh, you're stupid. Drunk. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it, and let us marry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! Ha, 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 ha.